Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion and lifestyle. So today I got have you guys in my car as you can see I'm getting ready to go thrifting today. Today is a thrifting day so I'm going to be doing my $100 outfit challenge that I do every month and so I decided to stick with thrift stores because you guys seem to really love that video that I did last month. And I really enjoyed it too. Like I really feel like I accomplished something with that, with going to the thrift store and doing a hundred dollar outfit challenge as opposed to going to like H&M or you know, someplace like that. I really enjoyed going to the thrift store. So um, I'm back at the same thrift store I went to last month and I'm gonna see if I can find anything, you know, put together an outfit for a hundred dollars. If, you know, I can't really, if I can't, if I find that I'm not really finding an outfit, I may just, get a few pieces and like see how many outfits I can create with some of the pieces that I get so yeah so that's kind of the objective is to find an outfit and if I can't really find an outfit then maybe you know I can find several pieces that I can make several outfits with if that makes sense so that's what I did in the last um, video that I did thrift thrift haul or the outfit challenge I did um, I was able to create several outfits, but I and actually ended up getting several things. But if you watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. But so yeah, we're back at the thrift store, and I'm gonna do this you know $100 outfit challenge here. And today is just a dark and dreary day. It's not really the ideal day to be trying to film because it's dark, and I like to use natural light. So when I get home, you know, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it work because it's gonna be very dark in my house, <laughs> just because it's. You know rainy and it's overcast and the lighting is gonna be horrible but I'm gonna try to make it work for you guys I planned on doing this video today or filming it today and so I'm just sticking to my guns I'm gonna do it so um, you know we're not gonna let the weather <laughs> we're not gonna let the bad weather you know damper our day so um, but yeah so um, the objective is not really I don't really know what <laughs> I don't really have like any sort of type of clothing or anything like that that I want to get I don't really have a plan I'm just gonna go in here and see what I can see um, but for me I like to find especially around this time of year it start it's starting to get cold where I live like it just came out of nowhere like overnight like it was 30 degrees like I walked out my house and it was 70 and went somewhere and then went somewhere and then came out I was in that place for like four or five hours and then came out of there and it was 30 degrees it was freezing so I'm like where did this cold weather come from so the objective is to maybe find some like coats and stuff like that I love coats so maybe if I could find like a cute you know vintage coat or something um, maybe a blazer maybe some sweaters because like I said it's starting to get cold um, maybe some more suits because I racked up and did really good with the last thrift haul and was able to get some suits um, Maybe some handbags, maybe some jewelry. So, you know all the things really so I'm just really looking for those type of things in here. So um, But I just had it's a very ca you know casual laid-back kind of day I have my hair like in a ponytail and I have my glasses which I hardly ever wear on these videos, but I don't know I just felt like wearing my glasses today because um, I do wear prescription glasses um, and these are by Warby Parker I was gonna show you guys my whole outfit but like I said it was so dark and I was trying to hurry up and get out of the house so I can do this haul or do this video so yeah so I didn't get a chance to show you guys my outfit but if you if I don't show it in this video then I'm gonna be doing a um, outfits video where I show you guys like outfits that I actually wore so I'm gonna show you know do a video and film that so you guys will be able to see this outfit even in that video if you don't if I don't show it in this video so but anyway so enough rambling let me go in here and you know go thrifting you guys gonna go come along with me and yeah we're gonna see what we can see so yeah I'll talk to you guys later
guys so i am back um i was in there for a long, for a long time just kind of you know browsing i went pretty much went on every aisle which i don't typically do but i just was you know trying to find something you know that i can create outfit with but i wasn't that successful i think i only got three pieces which you know is not a lot compared to the last thrift haul that i did so i'm gonna go home and show you guys the three pieces and then i'm gonna style them up I'm gonna style up each piece in an outfit so um yeah because i i didn't think i was gonna get as lucky this time as i did with the last video the last video i racked up and was really lucky so i didn't think it's, it's just too good to be true to be lucky you know two day two times in a row so i'm gonna go home and yeah like i said i'm gonna create three outfits with those three pieces and yep yeah. all right so i'll see you guys when i get home All right, love, so I am back. So I wanna share with you guys just a few pieces that I got from the thrift store. It wasn't a whole lot. Like I said, I got three pieces, but I did style them up and do three different looks, three different outfits to kind of give you guys some inspiration. And also just to kind of show you that, you know, you can just go to the thrift store if you like, you wanna update your wardrobe or try something different. You can just go to the thrift store and, you know, pick you out some pieces to add to your existing wardrobe. So, um, so I guess that's the purpose of this video is not really to create an outfit because I just really couldn't do that with just I just couldn't find anything in the store so um, I decided that I would just kind of you know add show you how to add pieces to your already existing wardrobe if you want to like mix things up a bit or if you want to add a little you know something different to your outfits then you know the thrift store is where you can go because we know the thrift store you know those are one of a kind pieces nobody's going to be rocking those pieces out here in these streets so um but yeah so I just got three pieces and I'm going to show you guys what I got and then, you know, we'll go over the total and see how much I actually spent. So just pulling them out the bag. The first piece I got was this like little pullover, like a little um, half zip kind of pullover. And this is from Ralph Lauren. Y'all know I love Ralph Lauren. I saw so many pieces at the thrift store. I had to like reel it in and not get so many, you know, Ralph Lauren pieces. I mean, they had like the little polo shirts. They had the button up shirts. They had, you know, you know, pieces like this. So if you're looking for Ralph Lauren, if you love that brand like I do, then, you know, go to the thrift store. You know, I hate that I went and did a whole huge haul from Ralph Lauren and paid full, you know, full retail price for a piece that I could find at the thrift store. So this is a good quality piece. It's just, I got this from the men's, men's section. So it's just this um, knitted sweater. It has like the little yellow stripes on it and on the side of it and then, yeah, it's just like one of those half kind of zip up type of uh, situations. And this is made out of 100% merino wool, which is, you know, pretty good fabric. And um, this was a size large and I paid $8.69 for this. So if you would have gotten this at the Ralph Lauren store, you probably easily would have spent over $100, maybe even close to $200. But I got it from the thrift store for $8.69. So can't beat that with a stick and it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it does have some little fuzzies here and there, but nothing too, nothing too noticeable. Like it looks like a lived in piece, which it is, you know, it's a lived in piece, but it's still good quality. And, you know, I feel like I could have this for years. So um, but yeah, so yeah, I got this from the men's section, just a little polo shirt. And so I did, I did style this piece up. Just want to share with you guys here how I styled this piece up just so that you can see, um, you know, see how I styled this piece up. Cause I just wanted to kind of give you guys some inspo and show you how I styled up these pieces. So for this particular look, what I did is I just put on a like slip dress, um, underneath this yeah, I just popped on a slip dress. Um, this blue slip dress, I think it's from Zara. I got this over the summertime. So I just popped on the polo shirt on top of the slip dress. It's like in this navy blue color, which I love. Just to kind of, you know, keep with the navy blue theme. And it's a very high slit. So I do have on some stockings or some tights to kind of give me a little bit of extra warmth. But what I'm thinking about doing, don't think I'm doing a DIY with this. Actually, this is a side note, but I am thinking about doing a DIY with this um, slips dress and like putting like some pins like some safety pins along the side of it to kind of close up that huge gap because I really don't like that um, especially to wear now so instead of sewing it up I'm thinking about like I said putting like some paper clips not paper clips but like some little pin safety pins kind of like going up down the split because um, I've been seeing a lot of pieces with safety pins and so I really like that it's definitely you know something different something unique so that's definitely what I'm thinking about doing with the slip dress is to put some pins down 
the slit or down the slit part of it just to kind of give it an extra look i'm hoping i can find some gold ones because i love gold and we know that safety pans typically come in like the silver but if i can find some gold ones i'm gonna go on amazon and see if i can find some and just kind of put them down the side of that slit or just kind of close up that slit with the uh close with the um safety pin so we'll see um but anyway so the entire look i just have on this ha this handbag it's from mango the boots are from shoots i love these boots they're like a cowboy western style boot and then i just have on some sunglasses with the, like the blue tinted lenses that i got from shein just to kind of go with the blue theme of this outfit so yeah this is how i styled up this polo out you know top i could have definitely you know styled it with some jeans but i thought let me do something different let me do something out of the outside of the box you know to create something different so i just layered it on top of a slip dress just to show that you can wear your slip dresses even in the fall and winter time too just pop on you know a sweater or a cardigan or something and you can you know have longevity with that piece so but yeah i love this piece here and so glad i got it and so glad I found it. I actually went to this section the first time I when I first went in the store and just I guess overlooked it and then I went back and saw it. Or maybe they just added it as I was walking around. I don't know because the salespeople were in there adding stuff as as you know I was shopping. So maybe I, they just added it after I walked by. But so glad I got that piece and absolutely love that piece. And then the next piece I got is this top and. This is actually from the brand Sean John, you guys. Sean John, I haven't seen his clothing in a minute. I don't even know if he still makes clothes, but I saw this top and just thought it was so unique. That's why I love going to the thrift store because you can find like unique pieces that you won't find anywhere else. So I found this little like button up shirt and this like short sleeve and it has like some camel, red, black, and white in it. And I just love the color combination of this. You won't obviously won't be able to see it good like from this view but I don't know I just liked it and it's made out of really good quality it's like really like stiff fabric um but just very quality shirt and so I just liked it because of like the color blocking I just kind of love that detail of love color blocking and I just thought this would look cute with you know any of my pieces that I have in my wardrobe and so for this piece um this was $6.69 I don't think any of these things were like 50% off or anything I think they're all where the price is just as is so um but yeah i just love this piece it definitely kind of gives that kind of like you know how the you know cargo style is in right now so this definitely kind of fits right into that which speaking of that i was looking for some cargo pants and i saw some but that i didn't like them like they were not something that i just kind of gravitated towards so i find that you know if i don't if it doesn't you know wow me right away or woo me right away i'm like i just, I just don't need to get it so i didn't get it um, but I did see some cargo pants, but I was on the hunt for some. So the hunt continues for some cargo pants. But these will look this out this piece would look cute with some cargo pants too. So um but yeah, I just loved it. And like I said, it was in really good condition. And I didn't know how I didn't have any plan of how I would style this. I knew that I had stuff, you know, colors, similar colors. I mean everybody has black, white, you know, um camel in their wardrobe, and I had plenty of those tones in my wardrobe. So I knew I could, you know, style this up with something that I already have in my wardrobe. So um, but yeah, so I love this shirt. It's um, I think this is in a size extra large. I can't see what size it is because the tag is kind of covering it up. But um, yeah, it looks like it might be an extra large because it's kind of oversized and big on me. Let's see if I can see the yeah. I got this in a this is in an X three actually a three XL. So ooh, that's super big. So obviously this kind of shrunk a little bit I guess over the years. But it's very stiff and looks like it's been ironed. So i don't know but yeah it's a really nice piece and so how i styled this piece i styled this piece up i just kind of layered it up so i have on this like zebra print like turtleneck top that i got from amazon i just recently got this so you'll be seeing this in an amazon haul really really soon um but i thought you know i just was kind of thinking outside the box and thinking how can i be creative with this with this top because it is kind of a basic top but and it's kind of like, you know, that kind of, you know, military, not really military, but like that cargo style, like I was saying. So I was like, how can I dress this up and make it a little bit more feminine, but not too feminine. So, yeah, I just added on this zebra print turtleneck top that um, I got from Amazon. Then I paired it, paired it with my um, faux leather joggers that I got from Zara. And then I popped on my red Adidas, um, Adidas Sambas that I just kind of bring out the red. And then I paired it also with this Bottega dupe handbag that I got from Ego. 
Um, the sunglasses are from Shein, and then I popped on just just a little, just for a little razzle dazzle, just for a little something extra and some little femininity. I added on this um, sequin um, beret that I got from Zara just recently. So just a really cute look. Like I don't know exactly where I'll wear this to, um, but I think I thought it was cute. I thought it was creative. It just kind of helped, you know, get my creative juices to flowing with this outfit. And yeah, like I said, I don't know where I wear this to. Maybe I'd wear this running errands, you know? Um, I think it's a cute look. Um, it's starting to get cold, so I probably have to put on a coat on top of it, but I really love this look and just really had fun creating this particular look, so. But you guys let me know what you think. I really, I think this is kind of like outside of the box for me, but that's kind of like my thing. I'm trying to, I'm getting into that. For 2023, it's all about, you know, being different, trying to style up things different, because I'm just out here, I'm just, I've come to the conclusion that I'm just tired of looking like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's getting Zara pieces and looking like, you know, clones of each other. So I just want some unique pieces that, you know, it's me. You know what I mean? That's just like that I can own. You know what I'm saying? That can, you know, define me, I guess, if that makes any sense. So pieces like this definitely do that. So I definitely won't be looking like everybody else um, wearing this. So I love this outfit. You guys let me know what you think um, as far as how I style this shirt. Um, but definitely so glad I got this shirt and like I said I can style this shirt in so many different ways so many things in my wardrobe and it definitely is a nice shirt like it definitely I can say it gets that kind of cargo kind of um what's the word that construction type of vibe I don't know that's super trendy right now um I don't know it probably would be too much if I was to wear this with cargo pants I think it would be too like construction-y if I was to wear this with cargo pants but I don't know we'll see we'll see but I love that shirt and so glad I got it and the last piece I got I couldn't do a thrift haul without getting a blazer right I went straight to the men's section all these pieces are men's pieces so um I was looking for a suit and I did, they didn't have any suits I feel like I probably got all all the good ones when I went the last time but I did find this blazer in like this hunter green color and I absolutely loved it I don't have any blazers this color so I thought let me you know scoop this one up and let's see if it has the brand on here um doesn't have any brand on here so oh ivy crew men's dress apparel so i've never heard of that brand ivy crew let's see if i can kind of turn it around here so you guys can kind of see the label if you guys recognize this brand let me know i've never heard of it but yeah it's by the brand ivy crew and so it's just a nice oversized men's blazer um this is let's see if it tells me the size of this I don't know what size this is. This is oversized on me, which I do like. Um, I do like fitted blazers and fitted things, but I also love oversized because I can just layer up like thick, chunky sweaters underneath this and, you know, be good to go. So, um, but I absolutely love this, um, this color of it. I love the buttons. It has like this gold button detail, which I think hunter green and gold are just pretty color combinations. And so it's just a double-breasted men's blazer. It has, you know, the... Um, uh, shoulder pads in it so it just gives it that structure kind of look but I absolutely love this blazer and so for the outfit what I did with the um, or how I styled this piece is I styled it with this denim skirt that um, I got from Mango I believe I got the skirt from yeah the skirt is from Mango and it's just like that you know that high slit um, which is a little bit a little bit risque i don't know um i think i may take this to the tailor and kind of get that kind of um get that split kind of uh come to come down a little bit because that is a little high for me um but anyway and then i just have on this bando top in this like orangey type of you know like burnt orange color that i got from amazon i have this in several colors um uh, my boots they are i think they're from h&m they're just in this croc effect in like this camel camely brown kind of tone then i did some more sequins i have this sequins bag that i got i think it's from zara and um the sunglasses let's see where are these sunglasses from these sunglasses are from amazon i love these sunglasses i probably wear them with every outfit that i wear that i style so um this is just a cute outfit a nice little date night look and i further style this up just to kind of you know be a little extra with like this faux fur kind of stole um, or shawl, however you want to put it, scarf, however you want to say it. I thought this would be cute to style up with this look. Um, like I said, I love like browns with like hunter green. So like I love all the tones in this look. It's got a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, a little bit of, you know, camel, a little bit of 
brown just all those fan those, those, those colors just look great together for the fall and winter time so i just thought this is a cute look styling up this blazer i obviously could have styled this several different ways but i absolutely love how i styled it in this particular video but um definitely a blazer that i'll probably just have in my wardrobe for years and can style it up you know so many different ways dress up dress down so just a good addition to my existing wardrobe so but that is it guys so for everything like i said i don't think i got any kind of discounts on any of these pieces no i didn't so everything came to a total of exactly 33 dollars because i rounded up to to donate to a charity that they typically donate to so um so everything i paid 33 dollars. so that's not bad you know if you like i said are looking to like add unique pieces to your already existing wardrobe and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money then the thrift store is definitely where it's at like I think I'm going to start to get back into thrifting, maybe do more thrift hauls instead of like more, you know, instead of Zara and H&M hauls because like I said, I'm just getting to that point in my life or with my style that I'm just like bored a little bit and I just like, I noticed that even like in, in some like my Zara and you know other hauls that I've been trying or that I've been getting at like unique pieces, like pieces that aren't like considered basic because my wardrobe is full of basics so I don't need any more basics. So right now I think I'm more so gravitating towards like you know unique pieces like one-of-a-kind pieces that you will only find at the thrift store so um so yeah you guys let me know if you like this video if you want to see more thrift hauls i know that you guys love them so um yeah let me know if you guys want to see more thrift hauls because i would like to like go to different ones and like you know the area that i live in i live in the metro atlanta area so you know this place is flooded with i'm sure thrift stores and vintage shops and things like that so if you guys want to see you know more thrift hauls you know next year let me know not even next year just you know from here on out especially next year you guys let me know because i'm trying to like revamp my content for next year and kind of focus and try to figure out like what i want to do for next year for the new year you know um i do this every year kind of make goals and also plan ahead about you know things that i want to do you know for the you know upcoming you know new year so you guys let me know what you want to see if you want to see more thrift hauls next year you know if you want to see you know more vlogs next year i mean i'm definitely going to try to do more vlogs i think i say this every video but um i definitely want to try to do more vlogs next year and share more of my life and share more of a little bit about me um and yeah maybe you know do more thrift hauls instead of you know the zara and the h m that i always do so yeah let me know i want to revamp my content for next year and try to do some different things because i'm just like i said it was kind of like over even like some of my favorite youtubers that i watch i'm just like just like getting bored i don't know if that's bad or what but i just yeah i'm just getting to the point so i'm just kind of getting bored like it's the same old stuff it's yeah it's just i don't know and you know not that i'm original and that i do you know different types of videos i mean i do the same things too you know as it relates to fashion but yeah i'm just like i want to do something different you know something new um so you guys let me know what you think about that um but yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you got some inspo and just you know just inspires you will inspire you to go to the thrift store and you know find you some unique unique, unique pieces because i know times are hard out here especially you know with the recession and you know money and everything's just hard out here so i know everybody cannot afford to go you know shopping at zara shopping at you know h&m shopping at amazon every week you know or whatever if you want to add pieces to your wardrobe or if you're bored with your wardrobe or you just want to add some unique pieces like me yeah the thrift store is where it's at so i hope this inspires you and yeah if you like the video be sure to like it and also subscribe if you're not subscribed because i do lots of fashion videos on here and lifestyle videos so all right guys so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye guys